第二十三对表演题目是 NGO Here We Come， 计时开始。Greenhouse gas emissions. By the time we reach the year 2100, the Earth's temperature will be 1.4 to 5.8 degrees Celsius higher than it was in 1990. By then, the world will definitely feel the effects of global warming. Global weather patterns will change, causing droughts in some places and flooding in others. Polar ice caps will melt. Raising sea level and coastal erosion, and the flooding of low-lying land, including land where major cities lie. Where is Taipei? It's gone. And climate change will also make it easier for infectious diseases such as dengue fever to spread in a warmer world. Ow! During her inauguration speech. President Tsai stressed that our nation will not be absent on the prevention of global warming and climate change, and that together with friendly nations, we will safeguard a sustainable Earth. I have a dream of playing an active role as a global citizen who responds to the decision of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And to participate in international environmental affairs. Count us in. We can start reduce our carbon footprints by changing the way we do things, like by walking, biking, or taking the bus more often, and using our scooters and cars less, or by turning off the lights when we leave a room, and wasting less water. We can even bring our own shopping bags and drink containers when we go shopping. I wish I can work on some project like what Bo Yang's lad came up with, an invention that can help clean the ocean. Why don't we start with three R's: reduce, reuse, 
and recycle. So what do you say, guys? Becoming an NGO volunteer will surely open door to all these things we want to do for the environment and our nation. Let's go sign up to become an NGO volunteer. All right. Thank you. 第二十四对表演题目是 Grandmother's Bridge。计时开始。Yay!、Yeah, school is over. It's over. Cool. Let's hand out instrument D.、Yeah. Great. I like the pearl milk tea there. Excuse me. Y- yes. I don't think you are in our league. What, what? What's wrong? <laughs> His mom is from Thailand. Thailand. Probably known as a Thai worker. What、oh. shame. No, no. I mean, <laughs> please. Jack, let's. <laughs> you look terrible. I've told you a thousand times not to show up at my school. But you forget your lunchbox. Ah,、uh, what's upsetting you so much? People avoid me because you're different, and that makes me different, like a bug being crushed. Jack, teacher Amy, you shouldn't look down upon yourself or your mom. Miss Nan. Why not take Jack back to Thailand to experience the local life and culture? But the budget. Don't worry. Our government has a program that aims to strengthen ties between the children of immigrant moms and their mom's native land. What? Wh- what is it? It is called Grandmother's Bridge Program. Grandmother's Bridge Program. Grandmother's Bridge Program. Jack, Jack, we're in Bangkok. Wow, the majestic modern architectures, the luxurious office towers. The fancy shopping malls, the picturesque beaches. I can't believe my eyes. And look at the stunning temples, the ever-improving traffic networks that bind the city all together. This is a city completely beyond my imagination. You can say that again. But the grandness of my country lies in its broad and profound culture and deeply rooted religion. <laughs> I can sense the strong religious atmosphere. My dear, Gr- Mom, Grandma, <laughs> this、oh. is Jack, your grandson. Oh, you look so tall. Last time when you're here, you're only this tall. I'm grown up now. I can come and see you often. Mom, I brought you the mooncake. Mooncake, one of my favorite Taiwanese food. I can never get enough of it. And it's my favorite too. I smell something delicious. Sophie, Sophie.、Oh. it's a special treat from Taiwan. Oh, this is Sophie who lives next door. This is my daughter and her son Jack. We just got here with a special treat. Come, take a bite. Wow, a delicious flavor comes all over me. It's called yue bing. Yue bing. That's Chinese. It looks complicated. Not at all. Yue means the moon. When you read the character, the outline of a character tells you exactly what it means. Oh, that's interesting. It's more than interesting. It's also cultural. That's why I love mooncake so much. Mmm, yummy, yummy! I love it. I want the recipe. You know what? I'm majoring in food science, and I'm going to study culinary arts in Switzerland. Switzerland? To download the recipe online is never difficult, but if you want to get the hang of making it, you must learn from one of our great bakers, like Wu Baoshun, who won the 2010 Bakery World Cup. Oh, now I'm attracted by both Taiwanese cuisine and Chinese literature. Hmm, I might study culinary arts in Taiwan. Wonderful! Thanks for classmates to come to Taiwan together. Brilliant idea! I'm sure they will all love Taiwan. 
Wow, a trip back to Thailand has made you a bridge. A bridge to bridge the gaps between different cultures. Let's all walk across the Grandmother's Bridge to create a, a mutual, mutual understanding, understanding and benefit. benefit. The Journey to the South. Master, Master, where are we heading for? Oh, Pixie, Holy Maiden's Temple. You know, our noodle business has been a success in Taiwan, but I want to make our menu more diverse and our restaurant more globalized. You are right. She always has an answer when we ask and pray to her. Maiden, maiden, we desire to make our business more globalized. We need signs, we need directions. Could you enlighten us? Okay, give me some time. I will communicate with deities in the heaven. It's time for our departure. Finally, this is the land of Myanmar, Dine Wan Dale, a country full of new possibilities. We sailed through the sea and arrived here. Master, Master, this country is such a wilderness to me. Are you sure there are no bacteria and germs here? I'm a clean. Cling animal! Pixie, don't behave like that. Master, Master, they get away, they make you don't. They look so barbaric to me. Pixie, they might look different, but they aren't dangerous. We need to talk to them and find out the answer. Oh my god, they're looking at us. Master, Master, would they eat us? I know I look delicious. Hey, wanna buy mohinga? It's a rice noodle, it's festive. It's a national dish of our country. Wow, that dish looks so special to me. Could you show us how to make the dish? All right, listen up. Wash it and rub it and soften it and grab it and shake it and spill it some salt. And then put pound into onions and garlic and grab some sauce, maybe some flour. Add some rice powder and move it to downwards. Oh, it's hot and boiling and pooping and pisses on into the pot. When a mohinga, super must cook up. You squeeze some sauce right down right now. Spill some salt down, split it all down now. Your dish is ready. Oh, it's... It's heavily taste. Master, master, that's the answer. Wow, your dish is so special. May I blend your recipe with ours to make our recipe more unique and international? Why not? I have heard that your country, Taiwan, is abundant in fish resources. And this would be a great opportunity we two countries could cooperate together. Excellent. Join us and you will find Taiwan a promising country. Thanks for the recipe you taught us. 
Now our menu is more diverse than before. We marvel at how our food culture could be combined into yours. Indeed, now we have plenty of new combinations for us to choose from. Taiwanese steaming tilapia with mohinga sauce. Taiwanese rice shrimp with mohinga sauce. Taiwanese crab noodles with mohinga sauce. Mm. Is this a food that launches a thousand customers? This is our alliance. Sailing to the south, we innovate our culture and make our business a transnational enterprise. Therefore, sail, sail, sail to the south. A brave new world will be on the horizon. Thank you. 第二十六对表演题目是 Leave No One Behind. 计时开始。This is your favorite YouTuber, Abby, and I'm currently in a remote village in Cambodia, and let's see what those locals are doing. Oh my god, are you drinking that? Yeah, it's from the well, and what's the problem with that? Why don't you drink tap water? I mean, won't you get any diseases? Um, most of us don't have pipe water here, and, well, <clears throat> many people in our neighborhood have a problem, and, Actually, my daughter died of some infectious disease. But, but we don't know it has to do with the water we drink. Oh, oh, that's so terrible. Hey guys, listen up. If you're willing to help them, please contact me. Send me an email and we can figure things out. Affordable and easily equipped for them, like like a water purifying net. A net? Yes, we can put the net at the bottom of the well, and it'll become a huge water purifier. You're right, but we have no money now. <gasps> we, we should contact, contact Abby. Abby. Yes, we can ask her subscribers for funds. Let's write her an email right now. Two dear young scientists, Kelly and Barbara. Hi. They are with us in Cambodia again, and this is the Cambodian we met last time. She is here to tell us more about the current situation. I live in a small village, and each of the family in our neighborhood has at least one person infected by some diseases, and many babies even die after they were born. Oh, we're so sorry to hear that. And now the scientists have told us. That all of this has to do with the water we drink, but we don't have clean water from pipes. All we have is a polluted water from the well, and we're looking forward to any possible help. Oh, I I really hope that everything will be fine. And thank you for sharing. So that's why we are here. The two young scientists saw my video in Cambodia before and introduced me their new invention, Nano Water Purifying Net. So to raise funds for the mass production, we desperately need your help. Yeah. So this is a song we wrote called "Leave No One Behind." And are you guys ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Baby, we love to be pioneers. Bring hope to the dark side. Follow us to change the world as we leave no one behind. So thanks everyone for joining the show, and if you are interested in finding us, just click the link below. Dirty water, who cares? Taiwan cares.
um, is that the nano water purifying net to measure before? Um, is expensive? Don't worry, it costs less than one US dollar on average. Oh. Just put this at the bottom of the well and all the villagers can drink clean water. Oh my god, this is so good! We can finally have clean water! Thank you so much! No worries, we learned a lot from you too! Yeah, thank you for helping us realize that although we are just teenagers, we can still drink big and actually change the world! If not now, when? If not us, who? Don't get manipulated by age, and this is what we learned from you. We really appreciate it. Yeah, so let's celebrate with a cup of clean water! Dirty water, who cares? Taiwan cares! Thank you! The 27th表演题目是 Rainbow Apple Aran. Breaking news! A massive storm has a central java of Indonesia, triggering landslides in Jemblon village and burying multiple people beneath the rubble. The Taiwanese government is now recruiting teenage volunteers for relief operations. Let's all pray that the victims survived this disaster. Oh my god! What, what's going on, Ali? Is everything fine? A storm just at Jemblong village. That's where my father lives. I need to call him. He's not answering. Calm down. Don't panic. Ah, uh, you know what? I just invented a robot for a competition. My name is Marvin. He's handy and also intelligent. I believe he can help you find your father. My scanners won't have any trouble locating your father, Ali. And now, let's join the operation, find your father, and you will most certainly be fine. I hope so. We sure saved a lot of people today, didn't we? Yeah, but my father wasn't among them. And we've already searched everywhere around my house. Where else could he be? Hey, he's still alive out there. Just somewhere we haven't searched yet. And Marvin's still here to help too. Right, Marvin? Mm-mm. <sighs> Marvin? Sir, I am running low on battery. I have precisely five minutes of standby time. Hmm. You were saying? OK, that is not good. Without Marvin, we have no efficient way of saving other survivors. Or my dad. We need to find new source of fuel, and fast. Fuel. Palm oil! Will that work? Palm oil? Yes. Palm oil is highly efficient fuel that can generate power and probably activate Marvin. Yeah, yeah, that, that could work. But wait a minute. Where can we get palm oil? I don't see any grocery stores around here. No, but palm trees are ubiquitous here in Indonesia. Marvin, tell us more. Its production is important to the economy of Indonesia as the country is the biggest producer and consumer of the commodity, providing about 50% of world supply. Almost every single household has some palm oil system. As a matter of fact... Guess what I found? Some palm oil! <laughs> I feel powerful! Sir, I detect a hand sticking out there. Hurry, Marvin, go take him out. Roger that, sir. Ooh. Oh, oh, so happy. <coughs> Climate change is real. I don't like that. <coughs> who, who, who was that, Marvin? That does not look like your father, Ali. Yeah, I can see that. Guys, I think we should keep searching, OK? Fine. Sir, I detect a faint life form behind the rubble. Hurry, guys. One man excavated is one life safe. I see my father's watch. <coughs> Dad! Oh, thank God you're alive. <laughs> oh, Ali, is that you? There was this downpour, then this rumble, then the tidal waves of rocks. Then I remember nothing. But even though I don't know what happened now, I'm sure of one thing. What is it, Dad? Ali, you're here. Everything will surely be fine.
Thank you. And you, Marvin, for saving me. I'm glad that Ali got to meet such compassionate and intelligent Taiwanese like you. I have heard that Taiwanese technology is beyond world class, and Marvin is a proof of that. I am not just a pretty face. I have a life form detector, and I can be powered by either a battery or biofuels. And most importantly, I have a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence system. And you know what, sir? You can actually keep him. I believe he will serve you well. Really? It's so generous of you. Marvin here, at your service. Ellie, do you have the gift also? Yes, father. Wow, thank you. It's beautiful. What kind of flower is this? These are jasmine flowers. They represent Indonesia and are a symbol of purity, simplicity, and sincerity. We hope that whenever you see these flowers, you'll be reminded of the times you had here and the hardships we endured as one. Of course, my friend. I will never forget what I learned from you guys, the friendliness and the resilience in the face of difficulties. You brought hope to a lot of us Indonesians, kids. For that, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We hope that you can keep in mind. You, you can't, can't have, have a rainbow, rainbow without, without a little rain. Thank, thank you. The twenty-eight dance performance theme is One Joint Leap. Ji Shi, start. Do I have Thai schedule next week? Um, there's one day left empty. Okay, book my flight to Boston on that day. A new technology launch is coming, and there are going to be tons of opportunities for us to expand our market. Okay, boss, I'll do that. As for the schedule for next week, from Monday to Tuesday, we have a contract to sign in Japan. And from Wednesday to Thursday, our new factory is opening in China. Okay, then go get my car. We are leaving in five minutes. Bad news? Okay, shoot. Our two stores are not doing well. There have been some financial difficulties. Sales problems? No, we have reached our sales target as usual, but the labor costs are increasing. How long can we hold on? According to our status, about a month. A month? A month? Thanks, you can go now. Hi, yeah, speaking. You want to terminate our partnership because we have, have a higher labor cost? But... about our labor costs. And we might not be able to maintain our company for long. You should have listened to me. I mean, cheer up. This lunch is on me. Well, thanks. Next time is my turn. Hey, you know that movie Owens wanted to watch? Um, let's go watch it now, huh? Come on. Come on, come on. afford the drastic increase in the labor costs and in both software and hardware facilities. I have noticed. If the situation keeps on going, we'll have to cut down the number of the employees, or even worse, we might go bankrupt. And another thing. What is it? We have an emergency meeting about our partnership with China. OK, let's go. Working? Our new policy is working. The sales have increased dramatically. And now there's a famous brand representative waiting for you in the meeting room. Then go get ready. I'll be right there.
guess who got a big race and a big promotion? Oh my god, you did it! Yes, I did. Whoa, how? Well, I found a perfect solution to our dilemma, so now we have better cooperation partners, and the costs are much lower than ever. Wow, it's good to hear that you're doing a good job at work. Oh, yeah, oh, and this time is on me. <laughs> yeah, thanks. What's wrong? Actually, the financial problem of our company is really serious. My boss said if we can't find a solution to this crisis, we might go bankrupt. No way. You know, we used to have the same problem as you, but then we established a plan. We started to work with South and Asian countries and we moved our factories to the Philippines. And that really helped us in a lot of ways. How so? Tell me more. Whoa, I'm impressed. Well, I have to go now. Bye. Miss Guo, I have found the perfect solution. Our government provides a better loan to establish factories in the Philippines. Yes, it is an English-speaking country, which is truly important to our company. In that way, it can actually decrease the expenses of our international liaison department. All right. Miss Wu, please let me remind you. In Philippines, it is considered impolite to shake others' hand with your left hand. OK, I will keep in mind. Hello, my name is Aquino, and I'm the manager of a factory. Let me introduce the area to you. The economic status of our country has improved a lot this year. And one of the reasons is because of our semiconductor industry. It is our semiconductor department. Hmm. This is also the reason why we decided to move our factories here. Hmm. We can have a deal. It is an honor and pleasure working with you, Ms. Aquino. Burning New Generation New Tendency. Hi, my name is Lily. My name is Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you come from? I'm from India. A teacher's coming. Hi, class. Welcome to South Point Language School. I want to know more about yourself and what makes you come to Taiwan. Again? It's 2030 now. That's an old fashion. Hey guys, is it that hard? May I go first, may I? Sure. These are VR glasses. These are VR glasses. I don't need that, thank you. Uh, okay, fine. I'll tell you a fantastic story about my parents through VR glasses. something? Oh, I want to know how to get to the Department of Business Management. What a coincidence. I'm going there for my next period. Follow me. It is so true that Taiwan's people are friendly. Let's go. Okay. No, not yet. It's really good. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, your project was really impressive. I really appreciate it. How did you come up with this idea? Hey, it's Rachel Winnie. Hey. hey, guys. What are you talking about? The new Southbound policy. Oh, I have heard it before, but I don't know what exactly it is. It's about education, economy, culture, science, technology exchange, and so on. 
The part I have looked into are education, economy, and culture. A brand news in India. It said that the students from Southeast Asia countries will receive a lot of resources. So let's warm here. Right. Statistics show that there's a huge increase in exchange students. Also, the government is providing some programs for them. Additionally, museums also work together to do some research. Not only museums, but an industrial technology research institute and council of scientific and industrial researchers were also established this year in October. Wow! Sounds great! What's the culture is bad about? Interesting question! First, the most particular part is the tourism. To a reason, take the government as to our guide to be qualified and over certain quota for local residents to be guides. Next, visa to country will be easier to get and people will be more convenient to travel around. In that case, we can know more about other cultures. Knowing others more, more career opportunities, burden horizon, communicate with our race. What a global village! Love in the first sight, putting us together. Country difference is not a problem. We are We're all in this together. Wonderful. I can wait to see the achievement of the cultural exchange between Taiwan and Southeast Asian countries. Tell you a secret. I have a dream to set up my own business in Southeast Asia. Maybe we can go together. You all can figure out the rest of the story. And now, can you imagine what the world looked like after carrying out the new southbound policy in 2030? Now, every tourist coming from South Asia loves Taiwan very much. This pair of VR glasses are also the item that we cooperated with India. The new Southbound policy has truly led us to a brighter life that we've never thought about. Taiwan! Southeast Asia! A better future! Thank you! The 30th performance theme is Explored to a new world. Due to the recent board case about disaster around the world, Taiwan government has decided to recruit volunteers from all around the world to receive training in Taipei. By chance, there is a group of female volunteers from different countries. Malaysia, India, Taiwan, and Vietnam has been assigned to the same bedroom. Hey, let me tell you, I'm super excited. My roommates are from Malaysia, India, and Vietnam. I couldn't believe that I can get to know three people from different countries. We both live in Taiwan. Hi, I'm Sonia from India. And Wen from Vietnam. I'm Erin, I'm from Taiwan. Hi everyone, nice to meet you all. I'm Fatima from Malaysia. Taiwan is a very beautiful treasure island. Especially the people here are very friendly. Oh, and this is my praying mat. I should put it somewhere safe. Hey, why you step on my praying mat? This is my praying mat. Sorry, sorry, it's just only a mat. Besides, I have apologized. Why well, shouldn't you like that? Oh my goodness! Don't give me that! It's disgusting! On the second day of training, when everyone are practicing practicing objects. Sonia, catch it. Okay. Hey! What are you doing? Do you not spell up? I'm doomed! Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't know that. You don't have to be so angry. I'm doing the same as yesterday. What's wrong with me yesterday? Yeah, I just didn't know. Just like a step on my pregnant yesterday. It's an extreme offense because it's very hardly Islamic belief. 
True. Just like you use your left hand to take an apple to me. In my country, you can't use your left hand to pick up food. Oh, I see. I'm very, very sorry. My apologies. I didn't know about all this. I thought it's just a normal mat. Please forgive me. Forget about it. It's not your fault because you are innocent. Allah is kind, and He will forgive you. Hey, every girl, I'm so hungry. Yeah, everybody, as a native, I would like to bring you girls have a delicious treat: bubble milk tea and fried chicken. It's all on me. It will be a pity if we are in Taiwan but haven't tasted these two snacks. Wow! Thank you so much, Irene. If you have a time next time when you visit India, I will bring you girls to have a taste of a real India curry and masala try. You girls must come. Oh, and me, me. I will bring you girls to eat nasi lemak, a roti tissue, and the most infamous snack from Taiwan is stinky tofu. I think it tastes amazing. You must give it a try. <laughs> Stinky? Are you sure? I think durian is one of the fruit which everyone is so afraid. In my country, I must bring girls to eat a third and cover different tastes between Vietnamese and Taiwanese. First pass, I will take you to the landmark of Taiwan, Taipei 101, which used to be the tallest skyscraper in the world, and then. We can take an elevator to the 89th floor. Wow, it's way much taller than our two towers. It used to be the tallest building before 2003 as well. We can also visit the nearby town called Jiufen because of the gold mining and the Japanese animation movie. Now, it's become so popular for lots of travelers. I know, Taj Mahal is one of the famous sites from India. However, if you have a time, you must go to CSMT, a railway station in Mumbai. You know, the dancing scene in Slumdog Millionaire also filmed there. Moreover, we can go to Pingxi and release a sky lantern into the sky. People usually write their wishes on the sky lanterns in hopes of peace and good fortune in the new year. We also have a small town related to the sky lanterns. It's called Hou and also famous because of the sky lanterns. But the difference is that we put the lanterns into a river in remembrance of our late ancestors. Oh, I'm so happy to have a chance to meet you girls. Every country has its own unique culture and traditions. We are in luck to live together. Get to know each other and be true to each other because we have the same goal. Yes, although we are from different places, but we still have the same goal. Adaption, adaption, adaption to a new world. Let's discover a new world and make the world a better place. But thank you. 第三十一对表演题目是 A String of Hope. 计时开始。International volunteer camp has been such a great experience. This has been the best time. My hometown, Danan City, is just right outside the jungle. Oh, why is the river so smelly? Well, our river used to be very clean, but recently, factories have been releasing polluted water. That sounds awful. Don't worry, there's still hope. High schoolers like me have chosen to join the lab. Whoa. Wait. Did you say a lab? What a coincidence! Joanna and I are also in a lab. We use titanium on water purifying system. This is our titanium water bottle. Taiwan has the best titanium yeah. processing skills. And Vietnam is one of the countries that produces the most titanium. Whoa. In that case, you guys should definitely meet my professor. All Agree! Right. Let me guess. Judging by its weight and texture, is this made out of titanium? Bingo! They have been interested in our research of water pollution. Because titanium can purify water. 
At school, we always bring titanium water bottle with us, so we will have clean water to drink. I have been trying to apply titanium on water purifying for ages. Mm. Seeing this, I think it might help with our research. Yes! With the technology from Taiwan, let's make it into something useful. That sounds cool. But we are going back to Taiwan soon. <gasps> Why don't we work on this online? Oh, yeah! That's a great idea. I'm very happy to see teenagers from Taiwan and Vietnam work together. Mm. If things work out successfully, we might even visit you guys in Taiwan. Then see you. Bye. Safe flight. Jessica, Joanna, how's everything going? Glad you guys can come to our Maker's Lab in Taiwan. Well, since our last meeting, I have come up with some ideas. Mm. How about making this water tap that can filter out dirty water? I think a tap may be too small. Why don't we make ah. something bigger? Yeah, then how about this gigantic water tank that can store a huge amount of clean water? That's too big. Oh. Actually, we have been thinking about this TWPB. It is the perfect size and it is easy to carry and assemble. That sounds cool. But what does TWPB stand for? It stands for Titanium Water Purifying Ball. Oh, I see. Hey, since we have all the instructions, let's start doing it right now. I'll go get the material we need. Me too. Hey, be careful, girls. Let's put our models together. Say hello to our new TWPB. Ta-da! Let's try this out. So, dirty water goes in. And that's wait and see. Whoa! Water, yes! I'm very proud of you, girls. We should bring this technology back to Vietnam. Hooray! Using this technology, we can finally solve the water pollution problem in Vietnam. Yes! With youth power and technology collaboration, we create a better future. Girls, you are indeed the stream of hope for this generation. We are these, we have these, hand in hand, change our life. Can we do it? Yes, we can! Thank, Thank you. you. 第三十二对表演题目是 Love has no boundaries. 计时开始。Hey Tiffany, Mrs. Liu, what brought you here to this culture fair? Tiffany, Tiffany, it's your teacher. Hi, Mr. Chen. What a surprise! Well, this is my homeland's booth, and I'm just looking at these books. Hmm, looks interesting, but I don't understand the language. Well, Tiffany, can you read this? Of course not. Why not? You don't know your mother's language? Uh, I tried to teach her, but she think it is useless. Well, 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 well. Vietnamese may be more useful than you think, little girl. Here, I've got something you might want to take a look at. Wow. A free trip to Vietnam for 20 days? Yes, and it's a project sponsored by our government to explore your own mother culture. Cool, I'm in. As long as I get to travel abroad for free. Wow, I can finally go home after so many years and someone is going to pay for everything. Great, I've always wanted to visit Vietnam. 
This is too good to be true. Let's sign up now. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Let's go. Bon voyage. Tiffany, what's wrong? You look upset. I thought you had fun, didn't you? I did. It's funny. I used to hate of being half Vietnamese. Now I wish I could speak Vietnamese. You do now. You know how to count in Vietnamese. Like mo, hai, ba. Don't mock me, Mr. Chen. I feel so bad about knowing so little about mom and her family here. Uncle Bin said she was the smartest girl in the family, but I had thought she is quiet and dumb. Mm, that's what we call a stereotype, and it's not too late to learn about all this. Actually, you may be surprised the distance between Taiwan and Vietnam will soon be shortened. Really? How? More and more schools in Taiwan are welcoming students from East and Southern Asia. Some schools even provide scholarship and internship opportunities after graduation. Your cousin can come to Taiwan to study with you. As for your family, they can come visit you without applying for visas now. Wow, great! Tiffany, Tiffany, your dad just called. He's on his way to meet us here. Really? Why? Yeah, it's true. He's coming. He got a government grant to expand his business to Vietnam. He's coming here to propose a cooperation plan to Uncle Ben. That's awesome! If I learn more Vietnamese, I might stay here with Dad. Yeah. Tiffany, I would love to be your tutor. But you probably have to teach me Mandarin first because I just got an admission to a college in Taiwan. Wow. wow. Cool. You have to tell me everything about that. Of course. Hey, Jack. It's been a year since you came study in Taiwan. How's everything? I'm doing okay. Everyone has been so nice to me so far. I've even got volunteer tutors to help me with my Chinese. So I decided to return a favor by volunteering in a nearby elementary school. I'll be teaching the kids Vietnamese every Wednesday afternoon. That's awesome! Since I'm graduated, I plan to take a gap year traveling around Southern Asia to know more about mom's birthplace. Good for you. Thank you. The credit should go to mom. Without her contribution, I wouldn't be who I am today. Wait, I bet mom is, is preparing spring rolls at home for you right now. I can't wait. Let's go. Tiffany, Jack, look who's here. Mr. Mr. Chen. Chen. Hey, your mom's spring rolls are the best in town. But they're always sold out when I go to her family restaurant. I'm so happy that she invited me to come over. Mr. Chen, thanks for telling me about the language volunteer. I had fun teaching those kids Vietnamese. Wait, I'm the one who needs to say thank you. My son came home with the lovely Star Lantern for the Moon Festival. We both learned so much about Vietnam since you helped with the teachers there. We're so lucky to have you. That's true. Now I'm so proud of who I am. Soon, I'll be on my way to the trip around Asia. I would love to find ways to contribute to the world. Sweetheart, as long as you truly embrace the diverse and the wonderful culture, I know that you will be growing stronger in the love with no boundaries. Yes, in the love with no boundaries. Thank you. 第33对表演题目是 Paving the new southbound policy path through mass media. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sharing a post of the new southbound policy because I think that it is an important policy that every Taiwanese should know about. Let me see. The new southbound policy is about remaining or founding a diplomatic relationship by economic or talent exchange so as to decrease our reliance on China. Most importantly, it doesn't only bring business interest, but also offers Taiwan a great chance to advance ourselves by learning from other countries. Great! 
Hey, look at the comments you got. What? Where's Taiwan? Hey, Thailand. How could it be possible? We must do something about this. Hmm, let us think about it. Aha, I've got a great idea. How about setting up a YouTube channel to promote Taiwan? Awesome idea. Guess what? It is now the time for the Song Crown Water Festival. Maybe we should go there and get some feedbacks. Great, let's go. Hello everyone, we're at the Song Crown Vessel, which is held by Taiwan. Today, we're going to ask someone about how they feel living in Taiwan. some questions? Sure! How do you feel about living in Taiwan? Taiwan is so thoughtful. Some kind of festival is a very important part of our culture, and I really appreciate Taiwan holding this event. Great! Thanks for your cooperation. Bye-bye! Hey, hello! Uh, we are making a YouTube video. Could you be part of it? Yeah, what's up? We wonder how you feel living in Taiwan. Terrific! First of all, people are so enthusiastic. I can get help everywhere in Taiwan. Second, the high quality of life. It's clean and convenient. There are buses, trains, MRTs, and even high-speed rail. It's not only convenient to public transportation, but also service. What do you mean? There are convenience stores 24-7 and express delivery. People here are so nice. You're right. Thank you so much. Yay! Finally finished our first part of the video. We should start our next part now. Great, let's talk about similarities. Hello, Hello everyone. We're back with our friends from the festival. Hello. Hi. Today, we're going to talk about the similarities between Taiwan and other countries. Let's start with the food. When it comes to food, Taiwan has a wide variety. Let's ask our friend what food do they like in Taiwan. There are all kinds of local foods, such as stinky tofu and pure milk tea, and foods from all kinds of countries, such as Thailand, Indonesia, and India. Pearl milk tea! I love pearl milk tea! And the food of Taiwan and Southeast Asian countries are both spicy and flavorful, and sometimes sweet and sour. The reason is that the climate of both countries are hot and humid. So people in these countries use all kinds of flavors to increase people's appetite. Hey, don't forget pasta and hamburgers. Oh yeah, Taiwan is an international country. A lot of foreigners once come to Taiwan, they realize that Taiwan is such an adorable country to open restaurants sharing foods from their hometowns. Then that's not difficult for us to get used to the food here. Hey, it seems that you are pretty familiar with Taiwan. Yeah, we're both exchange students from from Southeast Asia. Hmm? Why are you both willing to study overseas in Taiwan? Not only the competitiveness and scholarship, but also the easily adapted environment. Have you ever heard of our catchy song? Of course! Great! Let's sing it now. Three, two, one, go! Taiwan, Taiwan, come to Taiwan! of our video. If you like our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Oh my god, look! We've got 25 million viewers! <gasps> I can't believe we did it! It's not one's age, but one's patriotism that matters. Hopefully, now more and more people know about the new South Farm policy and are willing to come to Taiwan and experience life here. Taiwan is such a wonderful country. Thank you!